The healthy tympanic membrane is translucent, pale, and positioned neutrally. There is also usually a cone of light in the anterior inferior quadrant. The manubrium, umbo, and other structures are all clearly visible. Acute otitis media can take on a variety of appearances on otoscopy. The tympanic membrane in this image is erythematous. Reddening of the tympanic membrane is a common finding in patients with acute otitis media, however it is not by itself diagnostic of an infection. Patients with a cough or a fever may also be noted to have an erythemic eardrum. Appreciation of the limitation of this finding is important in the prevention of inappropriate antibiotic prescription. The tympanic membrane in this image is erythematous, opaque, and bulging. A bulging tympanic membrane is the single most specific sign of an infection of the middle ear. In this third image, the tympanic membrane is bulging, opaque, and covered by a thin layer of discharge. This combination of findings is highly predictive of acute otitis media. Inflammation of the tympanic membrane can result in a variety of appearances with a range of different colors, alterations in translucency, position and mobility, and other features such as air boule, fluid levels, and perforations. Otoscopy typically reveals a bulging, erythemic or cloudy, and immobile tympanic membrane. It is important to remember that tympanic membrane injection, that is erythema, can occur due to a variety of causes such as high fever, crying, and irritation, and by itself is not diagnostic of an infection. However, intense redness or a clear difference in redness between the two ears is supportive of the diagnosis. Opacity also lacks specificity, as it can also be seen in otitis media with effusion. Now, if the tympanic membrane has ruptured, there may be purulence in the ear canal. If pus or sermon is blocking view of the tympanic membrane, then it should be removed, but not via rinsing with a syringe. In addition to the aforementioned findings, Immobility, as demonstrated by pneumatic otoscopy, can provide evidence of a middle ear effusion. This can be particularly helpful in cases where the tympanic membrane is in a neutral position and it appears to be inflamed. This otoscopic image was taken from a patient with otitis media with effusion. In otitis media with effusion, the tympanic membrane is retracted and usually has a yellowish hue. There may also be air bubbles or increased opacity of the tympanic membrane. Diminished mobility of the tympanic membrane, as demonstrated via pneumatic otoscopy, can provide further evidence of a middle ear effusion. This is an otoscopic image of chronic superior otitis media. Notice the rather conspicuous defect in the tympanic membrane. Perforation of the tympanic membrane is common with chronic otitis media. There is also often accompanying tympanic membrane inflammation with otorrhea. Accumulation of cerumen, that is earwax, can present with symptoms such as hearing loss, itchiness, and tinnitus. It can also be an incidental finding during otoscopy. As in this case, the presence of cerumen precludes visualization of the tympanic membrane. Now it can be removed manually or via irrigation. Pre-treatment with ceruminolytic agents can be helpful in removing impacted cerumen. However, cognitive swabs should be avoided as they can further exacerbate the impaction. <laughs>